not live. Let's check it out. Nice. Twitch always kicks in first. We're live on Twitch. We are live on sensor tube and rumble. It should be kicking in shortly. We'll wait until uh, rumble kicks in. I got uh, my lapel mic going recording and let me open this up. We got walnuts and dates, big ass fat dates, not dates, raisins, <laughs> big ass raisins. Right. And I uh, got some tea, got some water. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah, sensor tube is up. Uh, Twitch is up, and we're just waiting on a rumble to kick in. And rumble just kicked in. Nice, nice. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to the live stream. Today, today is November twelfth, twenty twenty-three. Weezy K. I got some tea too. Nice. What kind of tea? I got my uh, like typical Persian black tea. And like this is like like water for me, right? Every day, all day. <laughs> and uh, what's the day today? Today is uh, Irish breakfast tea. Nice, delicious. We just watched an Irish movie. Oof. 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 <laughs> I saved it for last night. I saved it for last night because I knew it was going to be insanely insane. And uh, one of the movies we're going to talk about is this one. The Banshees of Inin Shirin. What a movie. But we'll take it down for now. Gang, today is uh, November 12th. We're doing live stream open discussion movie reviews. We picked uh, five movies to watch. Last month, and uh, we're doing the reviews today. Dancing vigil salutations on sensor tube. Hope you're doing well. Help me on sensor tube. What do you need help with dancing vigil? <laughs> Jump in the lifeboat. Sensor tube is sinking. <laughs> Come over to Rumble and Twitch. Oh my God. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I sent a message to Elder God last night, uh, halfway through uh, Banshee. <laughs> it's like, wow, crazy. So heavy, so heavy. Brilliant, though. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Gang, let me do my little quick like, intro. Um, if you want to follow this work, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. You can definitely follow the work there. Cheryl, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Did you do all your homework, Cheryl? Did you do all your homework? first time chat uh no talent 77 what's uh gilded is it like discord yeah it's like discord but no censorship we we left the thousand people community on discord and went on gilded right discord they were nuking channels they nuked uh, uh ice age farmers discord uh server oh. as soon as elder god told us that he set it up for us so we could move to gilded so we got like 300 i think 300 people or something on gilded like two years ago we left a thousand on discord we told everyone man we're going over there we need free speech elder god september 10th uh was stream picking date so exact almost a month almost exactly a month and salute salute to you as well uh gang we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join us there it's a nice platform it's a nice platform we're talking about whatever we want and sharing information fantastic fantastic <laughs> dancing vigil haha <laughs> okay on twitch as well <laughs> nice <laughs> you jumped off the sinking ship <laughs> on sensor too alert i had someone post a comment today about some of the other stuff i've been posting in the last few days and they're like Chicho, how come you're not willing to have an open discussion on on sensor tube? I started laughing. I go, you want an open discussion on sensor tube? What are you kidding me? And gang, we are live streaming on Twitch. We're live streaming on Rumble, and we're gonna live stream the whole thing on sensor tube because this is movies. I don't think we're gonna go anywhere where sensor tube doesn't allow discussion, but we'll see. All right, we are recording on a lapel mic. 
uh, and we'll upload this audio as a podcast on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform we're on twitter we're on mines we're on vk we're on um we're on gab we're on getter we're on substack notes and we'll see where else we end up gang for being here for all your support mods 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 thank you for having our backs and creating an amazing community gang welcome to our live stream thank you for the support and i hope you're enjoying the content salute salute as i mentioned uh, i got big fat raisins and walnuts munching on i've really been enjoying just raisins and walnuts super good super good super good and i've been munching on some uh, almonds as well like almonds almonds and walnuts are my to go to nuts and i like cashews and i like nuts in general in a good way the edible type <laughs> oh nuts are good hey hey you all and what's up chicho lark bark salutations hope you're doing well hope you're doing well uh that looks really good. it's super good it's so addictive i got you and you don't want to consume way too much nuts like so i have to i have to sort of have a control of myself because sometimes i eat i go off too much and I like popping these together. So good. So good. Super delicious. Very nice. We'll hold off for notifications to go out for a few more minutes before uh, we start talking about the five movies we picked tony holder good afternoon good afternoon on sensor tube hope you're doing well pork cooked num 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 delicious salutations salutations uh okay just to a reminder of the movies we're going to talk about uh we have the dirty dozen that uh we had for homework all right so dirty dozen we had Tropic Thunder. So two war movies, one serious, one comedy. All right. Well, sort of war movie, I guess. The Muppets. <laughs> we had Cocaine Bear. <laughs> and we had, oh my God. The Banshee, Banshees of Inin Shirin. What? Uh, we won't. I won't say it yet until we start talking about it. Okay, until we get into the full brown reviews, right? Wow, wow, wow! Did everybody do their homework? We, I, all the God sent me a message last night. He said he couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get through. <laughs> Cocaine bear. <laughs> After Banshee, I watched a little bit of Cocaine Bear again because I like B trash movies, funny movies, uh, <laughs> just to lighten my whew, heaviness. <laughs> Lonely Piggy, hope you're doing well. <laughs> oh my god, Cocaine Bear pissed me off. I would pay to be in the same room uh, where you're watching Cocaine Bear. I'd pay for that, man. <laughs> the first, you gotta love it. He could not bear it. Ah, ha, ha. Icono says. <laughs> that seemed visual. I counted eight fingers missing between the last two. <laughs> haven't seen the movies you won't get the joke Cheryl I haven't had my 
mouth hang open in a movie as much as it did during cooking. <laughs> did you? You liked it, Cheryl. You liked it. <laughs> right. Why romantic? Why? I don't know what why romantic means. Traumatic. Traumatic. Dancing with traumatic, traumatic. Oh my god, the bear would have killed her when he got hold of no survivors. <laughs> yeah, Cheryl, and what the fuck, what the fuck, awesome, awesome, awesome. Super funny, I loved it. <laughs> Cheryl, I pay for me and you to be in the same room watching Elder God watch Cocaine Bear. Spencer shirt. Uh, wait a second. Spencer skirt skirt. You change your name, Spencer, or is it a different Spencer? Hey, Chicho, have you seen the something end uh, of Attack on Titan yet? I saw the. They put out a. The second part is out of the last, like, the last thing they were putting out. Don't give me any spoilers, man. If it was out. I saw the two hour or hour and a half, hour and forty five minutes. First part is the second part out. Is the second part out? If it is, I'm going there right after this. My vape's charged up and I'm going hardcore. Same guy, different platform. Same guy. Oh, same guy, different platform. Okay, 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 Spencer. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> with Ray Liotta by toys. <laughs> Was that Ray Liotta's last movie? Poor guy. Uh, oh my god, Dirty Dozen was actually the most relaxing movie. Yeah, Dirty Dozen, I didn't find stressful at all. <laughs> oh, Spencer, second part of Attack on Titan came out last night. Ooh, okay, gang, we're done. <laughs> Let's rate the movies. No, I'm just kidding. This is fantastic. But yeah, oh, thank you for the heads up. Thank you for the heads up. Sunday afternoon finale to Attack on Titan titan oh oh <laughs> like life is pretty damn sweet man life is pretty damn sweet if you keep it simple sort of gang should we start talking about we start talking about movie reviews a little bit i guess let me give you a countdown of who we got where we got them okay uh, sensor tube we got four people hello salutations to sensor tube we got uh 24 23 people on twitch and we got a uh, three people triplets watching on the rumble and we probably have overlap in all these right fun 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 gang let's start talking about movies let's start talking about movies uh, let me see what we got let's do what should we well since we talked about uh, dirty dozen let's do movie review of dirty dozen let's talk about the dirty dozen let me give you the oops i don't want to open this why am i opening that let me give you where's dirty dozen i opened up the imdb page form so dirty dozen came out in 1967 directed by robert aldrich okay writers nonali johnson lucas heller m e Nathanson and stars a whole cast Lee Marvin Ernest Bergnine Charles Bronson and a whole bunch of other people okay um, so that's the lowdown of uh, the dirty dozen okay that's the lowdown of the dirty dozen uh, and I don't know how many times I've seen this movie now I've seen this movie multiple times um, I enjoy it I enjoy it uh, was Lee Marvin uh, drunk during me i don't know was he <laughs> full time floor is high uh i'm at dinner with colleagues wish you all nice stream awesome thank you very much full time floors uh sorry you can't make us uh, make the, the the review discussion and stuff like this um but it's uh, it's going to be fun <laughs> so far it's been great my first watch, Elder God says, my first watch was 1985 at school. At school, they showed you this, eh? Wow, wow, wow. My my first watch of this was in the 19, late 70s and 80s at least. Uh, but it might have been, because I'm a little older than you, Elder God, so it might have been late 70s when I was really, really young, right? Uh, 
it's a classic it's a classic war movie nice war movie okay it's not as dark as uh, some of the other war movies from that period right like this movie uh, for me anyway i i compare it to uh, guns of navaron but i like guns of navaron more or the bridge on the river kwai i prefer bridge on the river kwai more um and Bridge of River Kwai is way darker than this. So out of Guns of Navarone and Bridge of River Kwai, uh, this is the lightest one, the Dirty Dozen. And it's been copied multiple times. Uh, like, tribute has been paid to the Dirty Dozen. Um, a lot of Asian movies have paid tribute to them. Dancing Vigil, nice war movie. Yeah, nice war movie. It's simplistic by a long shot but it one of the things i i noticed personally about this uh the great escape the great escape is way better the great escape is amazing amazing the great escape is way above this way above this this is a great movie but the great escape is something else right but one of the things i noticed with the dirty dozen the just watching it was a full metal jacket was sort of took the same layout of the dirty dozen to make the movie because with full metal jacket and the dirty dozen you take these people and you show them through you know half the movie is basically them training and learning to work together and stuff like this uh and then it gets into the uh their mission i guess right cheryl that's one of my all-time favorites uh dirty dozen hat has a great uh redemption vibe yeah dirty dozen is again is very i found it light like extremely light right um the drilling that you know the, the, the drill sergeant the um uh, the way they were going through it uh was pretty cool it wasn't uh, nowhere near as dark as like the great escape like the great escape the uh I don't want to give any spoilers away but the mound where they're transferring some of the pow's out with the two leaders when they're smoking a cigarette that's a pretty powerful scene that's a pretty powerful scene right that's a pretty powerful scene uh, was there anything as powerful in the dirty dozen like what would what would what would a very powerful scene in the dirty dozen be um dylan anderson on sensor wow first ever uh, first ever time to catch a chicho live stream been listening to you a while though awesome awesome uh dylan welcome to our live stream on sensor two cheryl learning what they all did to get there yeah 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 one of the most powerful scenes was the big guy uh, by the way gang this is going to contain spoilers so if you haven't seen these movies if you want to watch them probably watch this uh video on demand afterwards right uh sure one of the powerful scenes was when the big guy was being confronted by lee marvin saying come on big guy fight me attack me come on big guy he kept on pushing him kept on pushing him kept on pushing him that to me was uh was powerful that to me was probably the most powerful scene uh, Cheryl 100% yeah yeah that to me was extremely powerful right Elgoth felt sorry for uh Jefferson getting hand uh, hanged for killing uh to avoid being hanged yeah 100% 100% and then Lee Marvin one of the things that happened uh with uh Charles Bronson I think was the person where um he ended up shooting a deserter or something like this and lee marvin said you know what your mistake was oh, i'm paraphrasing it wasn't that you killed the guy for deserting or almost causing the whole you know troop to be to die his mistake was being caught doing it in front of other people uh that was pretty pretty important too i think dancing vigil i read lee marvin said that the scene was unrealistic it was really uh, i thought it was pretty good i thought it was pretty good with the with the big guy that was actually one of the scenes that was probably the most realistic to me 
elder god yes shooting a deserter who was running with the supplies at least he survived at least they sur at least they uh, he survived yeah and his he saved a lot of other of his other troops right uh but again lee marvin stated it wasn't it, the mistake wasn't that he shot him the mistake was that he got caught right elder god he said that at least he survived oh lee marvin said said that okay 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 i can't remember that one uh the, the interaction actually between lee marvin and all the players was really good all the all the inmates was fantastic i really enjoyed that as well the last supper the last supper was awesome the last supper was awesome <laughs> yeah the last supper was awesome <laughs> The Last Supper was awesome, right? There was a lot of symbolism in the movie. There was. But it wasn't as heavy, as dark as it could have been. I mean, I, I guess it wasn't as artistic uh, as some of the other uh, war movies, some of them from that period, uh, that really build the mood up higher and higher, right? Uh, but I really liked it. I, I liked The Dirty Dozen. I will definitely watch it again at some point in my life. All right. Uh, but Cheryl brought out uh, The Great Escape. I think I'd like to watch that again. Elder God, all lined up like Jesus and his disciples. Funny that Maggot was in Judas' place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And Maggot is, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the bald guy. Um, Co Co not Kojak. Is it Kojak? <laughs> Nagushka salutations hope you're doing well it is Kojak isn't it uh, was it Kojak he played it he played a really good role a total rapist that uh, Tali Savalas Tali Savalas Tali Savalas yeah 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 he was the uh, and then he he he, he so-called found God and he was God's sword i guess he was he was pretending to be that and him at the end going go doing what he does doing what his character was supposed to do right uh, just chaos religious maniac and racist religious maniac and racist yeah and it was the black guy that killed him i think wasn't it it was the black guy that killed him um so it was pretty good he was the uh, he was the best uh, Ernest Stavaro Blofed. He played Kojak, Kojak. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Kojak, Kojak. That's right. That's right. PK, Afternoon Chicho. Hope all is well on SensorTube. Speaking of mo movies, I will always recommend Taxi Driver to anyone who hasn't seen it. Absolutely amazing character study and overall movie. Cheers, everyone. 100%. And I think we had to Taxi Driver we ended up watching it in one of our previous movie streams right uh elder god uh quote i only do what i'm called to do yeah yeah he did a good creep uh like uh, cheryl says creeper yeah 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 he was very creepy because he believed his his own bullshit, right uh elder god jefferson shot him to protect the mission yeah 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 yeah, he came out of the room and went, what the hell are you doing? And the guy's like, <laughs> Tali Savalas is, he, he, he should have, I don't remember him in, this, this is the only creepy movie I remember him in. Uh, Elder God, I love the mission rhyme. How so? What do you mean the mission rhyme? The mission rhyme? I don't know what that refers to. And the Daffy Daffy Duck reference. <laughs> Slayer Darth, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. One to twelve. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Counting out. Counting out. Darth Slayer. I haven't seen the Dirty Dozen. Ah, uh, Darth Slayer. It's a good movie. It's a good, good. Uh, historical movie classic war movie classic but not history in relation to what really happened in the war i guess 
Uh, but history in terms of how it was documented in Hollywood. Hollywood films today are boring. Uh, majority, because they're putting out a lot of garbage, a lot of propaganda. Like, they had a lot of propaganda in the past, but now 95% of what's coming out is propaganda. Uh, I'm currently watching Casablanca. What a great movie. What a great movie. Really. And Ingrid Bergman. Oof. Wow, wow. What a woman. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's a great movie. Casablanca is an amazing movie. Way darker than this. This Dirty Dozen, light side. Very light. Very light. Even though there's a lot of murder and killing and stuff like this, it's... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I would consider propaganda, but there was a lot of propaganda in it. Slayer that, like, I didn't know that Italy briefly occupied Ethiopia. I, I wouldn't have known uh, at, about that without Casablanca. They tried to occupy Ethiopia. Ethiopia but was never colonized. I think it's the only country that, only African country that was never colonized. Nagushka, last movie I watched was The Postman. The Italian one uh, had government propaganda, but it was somewhat uh, entertaining. Or The Postman, the American one with, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the water movie. Why are there 12? Well, some people would say it was sort of a, tribute to uh, biblical reference I guess right Slayer that I like watching those sorts of films that teach you about history and not in a skewed way yeah very difficult to find the really good ones elder God down to the roadblock we've just begun the guards are through the majors men are on a spree major and Vlad this law go through the door pinky stays out in the drive the major gives the rope a fix uh Vladislaw throws the hook to heaven uh Jim jimmy nez uh has got a date the other guy go up the line sawyer and glippin are in the pen posy guards point five and seven glass saw and the major go down um, to delve slayer darth serbia was also never colonized serbia was never colonized uh, li uh, not serbia liberia liberia was never colonized hmm. dancing with there was a real filthy 13. slayer darth i just think america sent their free blacks there yeah yeah it be they, they, their flag is very much reminiscent of uh american flag mimic of it really real fringe hello chicho on rumble from calgary salutations real fringe hope you're staying warm in calgary it's getting cold in bc oh god i hate 500 no um uh, slayer darth i don't understand people who um uh, idolize 80s hollywood films they almost always never hold up ah there's some that really do hold up like blade runner fantastic movie right dune was a great movie elder guys elder god it's based on a real group who were prisoners and made up a, an assassination team is it is it based on it you could say we had a huge army based on this with the wagner group in russia right felix the cat on sensor tube chicho hey man bonus tardes bonus tardes bonus yeah bonus tardes <laughs> it's not bonus not noches yet just found it i like i like try to watch blood sport yeah but stuff like that but there's some amazing movies that came out in the 80s F uh, Full Metal Jacket, I think, was in the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. Apocalypse Now was 79, I think. Icono. It is like Ocean Eleven. You put 10 famous guys. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. French. Yes, sir. Getting gold in 
Alberta, Calgary. I'm thinking of stereotype films like, uh, but yeah, yeah, Slayer Darth. Some of the stereotype films were just pure crap, right? Mindless, mindless, mindless. Fuck. And associate. So you know a lot about this uh, this movie, Elder God, yeah? I should have put my posters over here so the chat appears better. You know what? I'm gonna move the chat to the other side, gang. So anybody, uh, bum, ba -da -dum, bum. chat. Uh, let's do this. Let's move this guy. So we're not overlapping with the. Uh, okay. I'm gonna move these. Ah, oh, no, I'm gonna keep everything the same. If you can b believe Wiki, well, I don't know. I don't believe Wiki too much. And gang, do not forget. Do not forget. Free Assange. Free Assange. Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies, as he said. Julian Assange has stated. If wars can be started by lies, peace can be started with the truth, right? Because wars aren't like this. Not the... Not the brutality of it, right? Slayer the... I actually uh, looked into this at one point and apparently it's because of a lot of American movie theaters moved to multiplex setup. So because they had to produce more films, uh, this led to a bunch of cheap knockoffs. Oh, really? Didn't know that. Finnish dude, salutations on Twitch. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Chicho and Chad. Hope they can. Uh, they, the day treating you well. Thank you very much. Talking movies is always good. Talking movies is always good. Oh God, the the dirty doesn't inspire Suicide Squad. Ah, that makes sense. Suicide Suicide Squad. Yeah, 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 for sure. It would. It would. Slayer Darth. I'm trying to watch more classic films. Yeah, there are lots, some amazing classic films out there, especially black and white. Especially black and white. Elder God and the fake general scene got uh, Donald Sutherland his major break in MASH and gave uh, gave us Jack but uh, Bo Boyer, Boyer. Really? That scene was fantastic. The guy comes up he says he wants to be a general and they take the guy who's the dumbest like the, the analogy there was phenomenal out of 12 men they picked the dumbest mofo to be the general and he goes through and does his does his routine donald sullen was fantastic in it too slayer that i am well and hope you are too I'll go, Chicho. Remember, I'm an army brat, an ex-veteran, so I love war movies. I bad man. I bad. <laughs> For me, I've watched a lot of war movies. It's one of the genres I've watched a lot of, a lot, because I was fascinated with war, right? Especially in regards to board games and stuff like this. Dancing visuals. The eight, 80s gave gave us samurai cop i don't remember that <laughs> oh my god just act dumb and walk up and down the ranks yeah just talk fucking random nonsense right crazy crazy slayer that can you be an ex-veteran to ta to elder god i thought being a veteran implied you were ex-army you could be just mercenary i guess gang what are your ratings for Dirty Dozen? I give Dirty Dozen like a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. That would be my rating for Dirty Dozen. Okay. Give us your rating, gang. Give us your rating, and then we'll move on to the next one. Nagushka, me too. It's a 7. Elder God gives it a 6 out of 10. Addictive Slayer Death Darth. Oh, interesting. So you weren't infantry, Elagar. Shara says six out of ten as well. Just a cast alone for me kicks it above six, right? Because it was sort of an all, all star cast, and some of the scenes were really good. 
when the general was going in from cell to cell to talk not the general lee marvin going in to talk to people from cell to cell was really good cheryl several seven if only in one genre yeah i i agree as a as a war genre i would give this a seven right general overall yeah i would kick it down to a six probably so i sort of try to uh link it up to the genre as you'll find out with cocaine bear <laughs> slayer dart since i haven't seen this film yet i awarded x out of 10 haha undefined dancing visual says 7.5 nice 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 <laughs> all the god comes in gang should we do our next movie we're basically saying dirty dozen is probably around 6.5 average right x is 10 in roman numerals oh yeah that's true <laughs> next so i can get rid of it you want cocaine bear next okay all we got is saying we got to review cocaine bear next i'm taking dirty dozen down and where is it cocaine bear cocaine bear <laughs> what did i give it i give it a rating on gilded yeah, my neighbor's practicing. My neighbor's practicing downstairs. My neighbor's practicing. Yeah. Pop -pop, piano man's playing. Sunday afternoon. Nice. I like it. We'll probably get a, what do you call it? Copyright notice on sensor tube. <laughs> when I was doing the cooking live stream. Got copyright notice. Hilarious. Uh, must be negative. It's uh, I kind of says Nagushka. Nothing to discuss about this me movie. Zero out of ten. Nagushka gives zero out of ten. What? <laughs> All the gods loving it. Gofa is one hundred out of ten. <laughs> that balances it out. <laughs> oh the god, thanks, Chicha. My pleasure, brother. My pleasure. Dancy Mitchell. This '80s movie aged well. <laughs> hilarious it could be this could have been an 80s movie for sure for sure uh sa kali kalifaya on sensitive says this movie is stupid but funny i agree i agree stupid but funny is it as good as some of the other sort of animal uh be funny slasher movies like uh, lake placid or eight legged freaks not as good as eight legged freaks eight legged freaks is amazing spiders giant spiders and stuff lake placid was funny really funny same type of funny as this but i give lake placid a higher rating right i say in this genre in this genre i'm gonna give you guys my my rating right now because people are giving zeros and 100 out of 10. i say in this genre i give it a 6.5 out of 10. okay elder god set in 1985 but had all the wrong social constructs yeah i wasn't looking at it for social construct it was i like one of the things i liked about it it wasn't woke it didn't do woke at all like there's no woke in this movie right which is rare on that front not that i remember anyway and some of the scenes were so damn funny with the bear just going insane on it just the beginning part where the guy's throwing the cocaine bags out he's like boom dancing doing his thing <laughs> goes to jump out and knocks himself out it was a slap it was a slapstick you weren't expecting it i kind of do you have a english name for a movie that are so bad they become classics um do we have a what would the english name be for that there is right dancing visual i can't uh i ain't watching on sp spider movies i can't watch spider movies 
I saw so much woke. I almost went blood. Did you? I didn't. I didn't see too much woke at all. I didn't see any woke. Not that I remember. Right? Calfia. Califia. I got to check out both of those movies. Lake Placid, Eight-Legged Freeze. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Lake Placid is super fun. And Eight-Legged Freaks is hilarious. It's got some crazy funny <laughs> scenes. Like, really. So good. Nagushka, for sure. Lake Placid had the advantage of being released at the turn of the century, which was arguably Hollywood's final golden age. Not a fan of Oliver Platt, but it was still enjoyable at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked uh, Lake Placid. Icono. In French, uh, we call it Nanar. Nanar, really? It's so bad, it's good. Like, oh, here. One movie, it's so bad. I've, I've seen it three times. <laughs> it's, it's called Life Force. The original name of the movie was Vampires from Outer Space. It is so bad. I've watched it three times and I might watch it again. <laughs> That's how bad it is. <laughs> That's a nanor movie. <laughs> uh, Cheryl, call classic to some extent. Yeah, call classic. Call classic would be uh, the word for nanar, the French version, called classic. Chiha, how are we doing? Salut, Chicho, loving the streams. Any uh, any snackers? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got walnuts and big fat raisins. Walnuts and big fat ra raisins. Really good. Really good. Doesn't want to focus because there it is. Really good. Walnuts and big fat raisins. Love eating these together. Slayer dot. When I saw No Time to Die a few months ago, months after it released, I was surprised by how quickly they sidelined Bond's black uh, successor as 007. After everyone made such a huge deal about how a black woman couldn't become 007, they probably did that just to rile up the anti-woke crowd to drum up interest uh, and to get the woke camp interested was it yeah I wrote off you know sorry sorry our British British uh, uh, community uh, people from uh, UK and stuff I I wrote off 007 years ago I just don't enjoy them uh, haven't watched one for at least 15 years it just the last one of the last ones I saw was that this was the, actually the last James Bond one I saw where whoever the James Bond character was is running down uh, on a dock into the ocean, I guess, running along the dock and a helicopter is bent like this and his propellers are breaking up the dock. I'm like, f f like at least an effort to not be so ridiculous like if you made it a funny show if it, if you're selling it as a humorous like something like cocaine bear okay but you're trying to make this serious it was garbage anyway that's a different movie and to get the woke camp which was a samurai cop is a cult classic samurai cop i can't remember samurai cop uh i, I remember what's that movie the Oh man, it's a uh, elder god. You'll know this. Uh, the it's a Chinese guy, who it's it's a tribute to Jackie Chan movies, who's uh, has flour, and they think it's cocaine, and he's trying to get it from one place to another, but it's Chinese flour. What's it called? I can't remember. Index. Index. Gunder. The judge of executioners. Hi, mister. Ah, oh, dude, boo. Ludex, boo, uncensored tube. <laughs> clown. We got a clown uncensored tube. <laughs> Elder God, somewhere. Elder God, Cocaine Bear was about motherhood, neglected by a father, and how it creates criminals. What? That's what you got out of that? No way, Elder God. A mother 
was about a mother <laughs> neglected by a father and how it creates criminals because there was no father and there was drugs. No, come on. No, you can't read that much into it. Do you read that much into it? <laughs> I would still pay to be watching you watching Cocaine Bear with Cheryl in the room. We'd be drinking and watching you tear out your hair. Funny, funny Nagushka. Bond died with uh, Piers uh, Bosn Bosna's final Bond movie for me. Yeah, Slayer. Died. Oh yeah, the world is not enough. Was that the was that the one? So bad, so bad. Elder God. All the main male characters were suffering from loneliness after not committing to family were they <laughs> no then what about that <laughs> one of the best scenes in cocaine bear was the ambulance when he came to pick up <laughs> pick up to see what's going on and the bear was chasing the ambulance that was an amazing scene that character wasn't that character wasn't he was a he was a male guy <laughs> he got torn apart but <laughs> <laughs> Califia, not the out of the wedlock uh, crack mama bear. <laughs> I love it. I was so enraged. Were you, Elder God? Oh my God. You were like cocaine bear. <laughs> Slayer died. I started reading the Jane, uh, James Bond books this year. Would highly recommend. Really? Really? Funny. Uh, da, 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 da. Slayer died. I don't care about the racism, misogyny, xenophobia, etc. in the Bond books. I care about the travelogue elements and learning about the history from them. <laughs> Sure, okay, I must admit to yelling at my screen in the beginning of Cocaine Bear, dumbass was literally dropping cocaine over three counties. <laughs> and he tried, and he's like, I'm assuming they went, wow, in the 1980s, would they have little trackers on them? Probably, who knows? But yeah, it was like, <laughs> I loved it. It was so funny. It was so funny. They call me Bruce, Dancing Vigil. Yes, they call me Bruce. Gang, you want a cult classic. One of the greatest fucking movies ever. 10 out of 10, right? In any genre. <laughs> they call me Bruce. Fantastic movie. Fantastic movie. <laughs> oh my God, it's all I saw. You've gone dark, brother. You've gone dark. Funny, Cheryl. Uh, Jesus, Elder God. If that's why you got, no wonder you think it was woke. <laughs> Hilarious. Elder God, even the black cop got woke to <laughs> I think I'm laughing more during this than Cocaine Bear, but there was some seriously funny Cocaine Bear scenes, man. No wonder. I was wondering why he didn't like it, man. I was wondering what was going on. Like, why Why would you hate it so much? Ali, salutations. Hi, good evening all. Salutations on Sensor 2. Hope you're doing good, brother. Hope you're doing good. <laughs> Slayer Darth. For me, the worst Bond film is Moonraker. Uh, but I think that's uh, partly because the Bond book of the same name is one of the best thrillers i've ever read really wow wow cheryl oh my god that was a wild scene the girl <laughs> was full sympathy cringe <laughs> it was amazing seriously one of the funniest scenes in cult classic i guess it's not a cocaine bear cult classic could become a cult classic we see we see but that scene with when they go into that whole scene from the beginning when the ambulance comes up and they're going what's going on here all the way to the ambulance crash it's about a good 10 minute scene probably i can't remember the timing on it that was a laugh out loud funny that was hilarious so funny elder god you gotta watch that scene 
Oh my god, I I didn't get what what didn't she get? Da, da, da. I didn't get the end of uh, a movie. I cut out with uh, Asian uh, paramedics get killed. I was actually supporting the man. <laughs> Cheryl, oh, that cop was so dear with that dog, and then the bad ass. <laughs> Hilarious, Slayer Darth. I gotta allow your your comment. Uh, set, uh, Twitch uh, locked it. Uh, Slayer Darth, carry. He never served in the intelligence service, Cheryl. As soon as I saw the actress for. Uh, Ranger Liz, I knew it was gonna be good. She's awesome. Uh, so she was really good. The, the 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 chubby one smoking cigarettes, right? That's the one. She's she, I like her. Super funny. Super funny. Slayer Darth. I got on my reading list the day of the Jackal by Frederick uh, Froister, which is about a French Algerian terrorist ha hiring an elusive hitman. To kill fresh president charles they, they made the movie did you like the movie i've seen them and i've been meaning to read some of the john le carey book like the spy who who came in from the cold i consider reading some of tom clancy's book but he seems too pro-american to me yeah i didn't read i haven't read any of that stuff cheryl you missed ray's death <laughs> Yep, yep. I channel that woman when I need to be a uh, mean mama. Ha ha ha. Awesome. 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 It was a good movie. It was a good movie, gang. Yeah. It was a good movie. If you want humor, get. Do not look at it through the lens of Elder God. <laughs> that will distort. That will make life extremely difficult. <laughs> Elder God. Day of the Jackal is my favorite movie. Is it? Day of the Jackal is your favorite movie? Wait a second. Are we thinking about the same one? The black and white or the remake? I think there was a remake one, wasn't it? I might think about the right one. Slayer Darth. I haven't seen the film version of Day of the Jackal yet. Wow, wow. Dancing Vigil. Uh, Ray Liotta took method acting once <laughs> too far. Slayer that I've seen the remake with Richard Gere and Bruce Willis, which was uh, pretty terrible. I actually didn't mind the remake. I didn't mind the remake. The original I haven't seen forever, but uh, from what I remember, it was brilliant. Peanut butter pumpkin party salutations. I dressed up as a bear once. Based the based the movie off of me. <laughs> you can do it again. You can do it again. Fun. What's your ratings on this, gang? What's your ratings on this? I give it a six and a half out of ten. In this genre, six and a half out of ten. Six and a half out of ten. And do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. Something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. Oh, God, they are making a Jackal TV miniseries as we speak. Really? Wow, wow, wow. Cheryl, eight in cult classic, six otherwise. Really? You, you think eight cult classic? That good? Have you seen Eight-Legged Freaks and Lake Placid? Elder God, one out of ten. One out of ten, he says. Slayer Darth. Oh, nice, Elder God. <laughs> Slayer Knight. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. The T J Jackal TV miniseries. We'll see how if it's if it's good or not. No, no, not yet. Oh, you haven't seen. It, it, Cheryl, Eight Legged Freaks. Watch it. Dancing Vigil. Ten out of ten. Just to annoy Elder God. <laughs> Give us a good laugh. Slayer Darth. Why can't we have that sort of humor anymore? Uh, oh, the dancing Slayer Darth. You know what uh, What kind of uh, comedy I miss? The old Pink Panther films were Peter said 100%. The original Pink Panther, absolutely brilliant. So effing good. So effing good. 
and Peter, Peter Sellers, one of the greatest actors ever, 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 ever. Cheryl, just for the wild swings uh, from no to gut busting laughter. <laughs> Hilarious. Index Gandhi, the judge of executions, quick shot of propaganda. He uh, don't want to spend 10 minutes without making it. Oh, God. <laughs> We got we got a clown on censor too. I got a, I got some clowns uh, posting on censor too because they either paid whatever or whatnot. Uh, I it is what it is. It is what it is. You don't get too much of that on free speech platforms too much, but it is what it is. People are allowed to speak their mind, right? Easy 9.8 temporary piece. You give it 9.8 out of 10. 9.8 out of 10. Go game. Just the gang. Oh, the poster alone is fantastic. This is one of the greatest movie posters ever. Really. Look at the poster. Oh, cocaine bear. <laughs> if I ever, uh, Slayer, if I ever have kids, I can show them the old Pink Panther films because they show you. You don't need to rely on smut or foul language for last 100%. So good. So good. Elder God, I'm watching. Yeah, Elder God, it's okay. The guy's, uh, he's just pissed about some of the opinion of 80% of the world that I'm posting on Censor to. And uh, he's a history denier, right? But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Ryan MC, people are allowing to speak their mind within the confines of sensor tube. Yeah, I know. <laughs> One of them, there's two of them on sensor tube, was saying that, uh, that he wanted to have an open discussion on sensor tube. <laughs> it's like, wait a second, where have you been for the last like eight years? Open discussion on sensor tube, crazy. Uh, Burpees, you haven't even seen it yet. 9.8 out of 10 based on the poster. Funny, funny, funny. Slayer, include. By the way, uh, Ludex, thank you very much. You and your partner that are trash talking some of the videos I'm putting out on Sensor 2, because the more comments you make, the better for my uh, analytics and it kicks up my videos even more. <laughs> So I appreciate the comments and the interaction on Sensor Tube. It helps me get more views and make more money. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Going for fuck's sake. The kids took yeah, the kids uh, they didn't take cocaine. They chewed on it. They didn't know. Alright, they didn't know. <laughs> They're making a cocaine shark. At <laughs> least They're not. <laughs> I'll watch that. I'll watch it. Hilarious. Hilarious. Slayer, include a shot in the dark. Ch Chicho, uh, Cheryl, Chicho, I'm sorry. This is off topic, but I've been meaning to share. The kiddo uh, joined speech and debate and the free speech club at his school. Nice. Awesome. 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 That's good. Uh, learning how to present in front of an audience is phenomenal it should be one of the essentials they teach in school but they don't they put people on, on the on the way they do it <sighs> insane uh, totally unprompted for me proud mom moment for sure awesome awesome all god sid is killed oh no slayer darth my friend uh partook in debating club at his secondary school and he was uh talking about why the soviet union was bad and he simply said quote friends do you not remember the hall <laughs> holomondor holomondor that's the ukraine uh, starvation thing right no i want to go back on sensor to dancing vigil now you want to go back <laughs> hilarious gang okay cocaine bear we got haters we got lovers we got People in the people in the in the mid ranges. Okay, next movie. Let's bring out the next movie. Let's bring out the next movie. Let's go. Let's go. Should we go? We got two humor, one heavy. What should we do? We got two humor, one heavy. Should we change the tune and go with the heavy, heavy? What say you? What say you? 
all the god to censor too. I'm going to kill a terrorist. <laughs> Muppet movie? Muppet movie? Is that what you're saying, all the god? Uh, yeah, Stalin's just a collective Ukraine agriculture. Yeah, yeah. Thank the Lord. Next movie. Next movie. Let's do it. Which one do you guys want? Muppet movie. Humor. Let's do humor. We're going with the Muppet movie, gang. Boop. The Muppet movie. The Muppet movie. Yeah. <laughs> animal. Animal. <laughs> the Muppet with Nancy Mitchell so heavy. <laughs> Nancy Mitchell, you're late. We're going with the Muppet movie. Banshee has the most to talk about. Banshee has the most to talk about. Banshee has the most to talk about. The Muppet movie gang. What say you? Phenomenal. Really good. Well, phenomenal. For a Muppet movie? Really good. Humor, fantastic. True to the creator. Uh, Dancing Vigil, my guilty pleasure. Your heavy guilty pleasure? Or Muppet movie, your guilty pleasure? Pleasure. <coughs> What say you? What say you? I I liked it. I give I give the Muppet movie straight up seven and a half out of ten, right? Uh, the ending wasn't the best, uh, but there was some amazing moments in there. The relationship between Miss Piggy and uh, Kermit so good, so good, right? First watch, I love it. First watch in nineteen eighty. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. I loved the Muppets back then. I still I I I love the Muppets until Disney bought them, right? Um, so that was my take. Love the soundtrack. The soundtrack's amazing. Uh, Dancing Vigil. Still laughing. Uh, laughing at how oh, that voted in. How oh, I got voted in. Cheryl says 10 out of 10. She's giving a 10 out of 10. The end ending was awesome. The ending was awesome. Really? You love the ending. I love, I love the build-up. I love the build-up. Right? And yes, I saw... I saw Woke. You saw Woke? In uh, The Muppets? Pure nostalgia. Pure nostalgia. 10 out of 10. Dancing Vigil. Orson Welles. Best performance. Haha. <laughs> well, anti-Woke. You saw anti-Woke. <laughs> Cheryl's like, oh, brother. Ali, you should review uh, Time Band. Time Band is super good, man. I haven't seen it for a long time. Dalf. Muppets rule. Muppets ruled. Uh, Hanson should never have sold it to Disney. And he regretted it. He regretted it, right? He regretted it in a big way, in a big way, right? Uh, Hansen, tell you the truth, uh, my opinion of creators is this. If you've made your money, you don't need the money and all this jazz, right? If, if you're, you've said what you needed to be said, you've had your creative outlet, uh, You've lived your life, right? And if you plan on retiring, do not sell your IP, your creative life work to these multinational corporations. Make them creative commons. Let the world go crazy with it, right? Let your fans go crazy with it. That's my little two cents regarding this, okay? Slayer Darth Disney have ruined Star Wars. Uh, George Lucas <laughs> ruined Star Wars, but Disney ruined it even more, right? Slayer Darth, I know I'm not even really a fan of Star Wars, yeah. Time Bandits, Cheryl, Time Bandits, yes. Yeah, Dancing Visual Henson, yeah. Slayer Darth, I don't like this whole good versus bad space opera garbage. I prefer morally ambiguous sci-fi thrillers i agree more more uh, yeah yeah I, I i don't mind the good and bad stuff but i i like sci-fi that's darker deeper right Elder God, this program includes negative depictions and or mistreatments of people, people or cultures. It reads, these stereotypes were wrong then and are wrong now. What is this? You're quoting this. Someone did this warning before Muppets on Disney platform. Are you effing kidding me? Are you, That's the warning they put out? 
before you watch the Muppets on the Disney live stream thingamajiggy? You gotta be kidding me, Elder God. Dancing Visual, Electric Mayhem is my favorite band. Ha ha ha, nice, nice. Elder God, you're joking. Disney doesn't put out this warning, does it? Tell me it doesn't. I wish I, oh my, wow. Insane, insane. Clowns, clowns, right? What a bunch of clowns, man. They're ruining Marvel comics, like the characters and everything. Like, it's, I can't even, I, I, I can't, I, like, I can barely watch Marvel superhero movies anymore. But Muppets, seriously, this movie, really good, really good. You could sit down and watch it at any age any age and appreciate it and love it right and appreciate it and love it and if you don't if you don't even at least like it the odds are there's something wrong with you all right and if you find uh negative depictions and or mistreatments of people peoples or cultures you, you need you need to lighten the f up you need to lighten up and enjoy life a little bit more right stop getting corporate centralized power telling you what to think right nor kill 78 not a joke you have to watch it under an adult content not available with kid restrictions <laughs> what you can't even watch this as a kid you gotta be kidding me meanwhile the crap they're feeding children whoa man we're in for an upheaval Dolph, insane in the membrane 100 percent elder god the movie is all about kermit's beliefs and dreams in my opinion the rest are just along for the ride yeah yeah it's it's kermit's um the 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 pure beautiful lens that he looks at the world and wants to include people in his dream and wants people to pursue their dreams like kermit is really a vessel in in for an experience right so accepting of everyone interacting with everyone it's beautiful it's beautiful ryan the good guy bad guy analogy in movies can be easily applied to media like fox news saying ba 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 or good and yeah yeah for sure uh that was on censor too by the way dancing visual if disney gonna do that they need to cancel disney himself yeah yeah you should see like disney check this out just in the comic book realm there are like mickey mouse copyright thing the whole thing with mickey mouse and copyright being extended but when mickey mouse the copyright came into the public domain it should have come into the public domain uh people took some of the older disney comic books and reprinted them and they are insanely racist insanely racist these some of these underground comics disney set their lawyers on and they prevented them from being distributed or published again i had i had i had a chance to buy some of them and i didn't do it and i wish i had there was like this was about 15 years ago or so not if yeah about 10 years ago or so and they were selling anywhere between 20 to 30 dollars each there was like 10 of them or five of them something like this i, I wish i bought them they would be worth i have no idea how much and we would be doing readings of them live right nagushka mute it because it seems like spoilers elder god well i have a dream too but it's about singing and dancing and making people happy and well i found a whole bunch of friends who share the same dream and it makes us kind of like a family dreams get better with the more people who share it who share it with who are your friends doc those guys if you you're not going to let me and my friends go then go ahead and kill me dancing visual it isn't easy being being woke 
Kermit was pretty deep in that scene. Elder God. The Rainbow Connection song is so uplifting from Pawn to Hollywood. Slayer Death. I recently learned that uh, they renewed the copyright on the Wizard of Oz film sometime in, in the 1960s, so the film won't enter the public domain until sometime in the 20. Uh, 30s all the stuff should have entered public domain so 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 long ago so long ago dancing vigil thanks elder now that song will be stuck in my head all day all day gang what are your ratings on this i say 7.5 out of 10 in terms of nostalgia in terms of love uh, i would give it a 9 out of 10 right um 7.5 8 out of 10 that's my rating on this the muppet movie right that's my rating on this oh my god the doc harper character was a walking idea of an american green and exploiting people oh yeah in index you're on sensor tube we're talking movies you're talking shit <laughs> that sort of that sort of shows what's in your brain <laughs> you know you are what you eat and to a certain degree you are your brain is what you what you speak when people are talking this you're talking shit you, uh, you're pretty much for the shit <laughs> doc harper character was doc harper was fucking amazing <laughs> hilarious uh first time chat v rebot chicho any uh advice smoking salvia Oof. Uh, go to our bitchu channel man I've, I've put out a fair bit of stuff on salvia salvia divinorum i can't give recommendations uh, I just shared my experience from the past, like 24 years ago. I, I explored a lot, right? Elder God, we want your legs to sell more legs. <laughs> just the whole concept was trippy, eh? <laughs> dancing Vigil, 10 out of 10 seeing I nominated it. Awesome Dancing Vigil, great nomination, great nomination. Dancing Vigil's given it a 10. Cheryl, I think, gave it a 10 out of 10 for nostalgia's sake just for nostalgia's sake yeah this would kick it up for me it would kick it up to nine out of ten but i say seven and a half seven and a half eight out of ten um okay i really love the cameos oh the cameos were great the cameos were great the cameos were fantastic really good and all the different uh just different characters in the muppets universe are absolutely brilliant elder god steve martin and the wine tasting <laughs> oh my god's <I> laughing <laughs> awesome gang great movie highly recommended if you haven't seen the the muppet movie you should definitely watch the muppet movie you should definitely watch the muppet movie gang next movie let's stick with humor let's stick with humor oops let's stick with humor we're taking muppet movie down we're going to the second humor war humor sort of hollywood war humor not bad for 99 cents Choop tropic thunder tropic thunder jacku ja, jacko taco on rumble hey chicho long time listener have you heard of uh bent key new kids platform to compete with disney uh kids shows without the woke nonsense no no never heard of it never heard of it uh like for me uh the pirate bay is your best friend <laughs> ryan on rumble hopefully everyone eventually leaves uh sensor tube so we can stop supporting a platform that blocks ideas and content arbitrarily yeah and promotes uh, <laughs> shit for brains <laughs> that's one of them in our chat <laughs> i only got give it a seven out of ten uh the muppet movie i'm assuming i don't know how this movie got made oh this one tropic thunder tropic thunder what was the date on it tropic thunder i'm fantastic it's where is it uh by the way the uh da, 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 da. muppet movie was made in 1979 cocaine bear is 2023 tropic thunder 2008 2008 for tropic thunder uh, and i agree with elder god this movie should really if you want to play it on a, a place on a timeline it would have been 1990s maybe 1980s but it got made 2008 and it was 
pretty damn sweet. It has some fantastic funny scenes. Uh, the ending, again, I didn't like it too much. You know what? Maybe I'm confusing the ending of Muppet Movie with en this ending. I think I did like the ending of the Muppet Movie. I don't think I like the ending of this too much. I can't remember now. Uh, cows are the last movie to get away with a blackface. Haha, yeah. Hopefully we see, you know, we'll see uh, wokeness die off and people do artistic expressions of whatever the hell they want, right? Whatever the hell they want. But it had some amazing th uh, scenes. Tropic Thunder had some fantastic scenes, right? I wish there were more of them, uh, my personal opinion. It had it went through serious down periods where it the the slapstick sort of died off a little bit and maybe it started taking itself a little bit too seriously maybe it in my opinion it it uh it extended sort of a bit that should have only been like a minute or two minutes into like five minutes or ten minutes um but i liked it it was a good movie oh god muppet movie replaced the fake rainbow with a real one amazing fake rainbow with her ah okay okay yeah how how sad that something beautiful has been uh twisted right homeless robot no the last movie to get away with blackface is the canada movie <laughs> justin trudeau <laughs> turdo right all they got you went full hard man never go f <laughs> never go full <laughs> never you full low iq you went full low IQ. that brilliant brilliant scene that scene where the blackface is talking to low iq guy fantastic and by the way uh ben stiller went full like low iq in the last two years right like one of the things that took it away from me a little bit from the movie is knowing knowing how low iq ben stiller is like full-on low iq the guy's like vomit inducing now right cruise is unrecognizable tom cruise in this movie brilliant fantastic and the character rocked right and he did an amazing job really tom cruise was phenomenal in this <laughs> so, so jet, jet black was really good too ali love tropic thunder is so funny they were talking about making a spin-off uh, with tom cruise character really it won't fly now it'd be you can't too woke unless you make it outside of hollywood then go crazy if 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 they make a remake of this and destroy woke right it'll be one of the gr biggest grossing movies in history really people are so sick of woke their companies are collapsing because people are so sick of woke right <laughs> dancing vigil there he arms. <laughs> and his dancing especially at the end too so good so good so good oh, so good Alagata Zar, Gauzar, I recognize his eyes, and he was the highlight of the movie. Yeah, I agree with Elder God. He was the highlight of the movie. I recognize him right away. I, you know, people trash talk Tom Cruise and stuff. F them. Tom Cruise has done fantastic movies. He's put out some really good movies. A lot of good sci-fi movies at that, right? And he's not afraid to take on stupid roles like this. So he was good. He was good really good <laughs> I'm laughing at sensor tube good hilarious sensor tube has become a joke as well sensor tube is one of the biggest jokes sad joke by the way now the guy he shouts his threatening montage then as he walks away fine fine who that was yeah 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 super good super good Toby Wiki, what do you mean regarding Ben Stiller lately? Well, I'll look into politics, what he did, right? He, he, he did the same thing. Oh, man, Luke Skywalker. 
Mark Hamill, what are you doing? You idiot. I got a feeling some of these people, you know, it's Hollywood. There's footages of them doing some nasty shit. And whoever has those footages says, hey, you clown. You now you're going to go do this. Represent. Right. Otherwise, this gets released and you know where you're going. And they're like, yes, master. Yes, master. We do. Right. Uh, Toby Wiki, yeah, yeah, like same place that uh, Mark Hamill went to, right? Same country supporting crap, right? So that took it away from me a little bit because he was just vomit inducing, right? Uh, but great scene. One of the best scenes was when the director, spoilers gang, was when the directors, they land in the helicopter and they're talking shit. And the director steps on a mine and just unexpectedly go, right? And Ben Stiller, that scene was really good. That scene was really good. So there, wait, I zone up briefly. What happened to Ben Stiller lately? Ben Stiller, uh, uh, he, he, he made a trip to... Uh, uh, to Ukraine, right? He was on the same uh, same uh, promo uh, warmongering thing as Mark Hamill, right? Insanity, insanity. Da 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 da. Da da da. Yeah, just reading that. Uh, so a good movie, fun movie. Oh God, this movie for me was the em emptiness of Hollywood. Everything fake. So you are forced to create a new persona and forget who you are. Then take drugs to find yourself again. Nagushka. Stiller went full Sean Penn. <laughs> you never go full Sean Penn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mark Hamill, Sean Penn, Ben Stiller. They all went full low IQ. Right? See Jack Black's see Jack Black's character. Yeah. Elder God is correct. All right? Laugh out loud, dancing vigil. Yeah. Three. Three. Sean Penn. Mark Hamill. Ben Stiller. All three. With full low IQ in the last two years. All right? So their movies like Sean Penn great actor Indian runner Sean Penn the movie independent movie that he made with uh, I forget who it was uh, main actor Indian runner I really like that movie but I won't watch Sean Penn on anything again or watch any of his movies because he's in it's just oh just the whole concept of him being there is gross Ali booty sweat <laughs> sweat soda <laughs> <laughs> funny funny all we got robert downey jr uh taking uh taking his face off when sa when saying i think i might be nobody absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant and when um i forget who the black guy is in in, in the show when <laughs> robert downey jr is like my people doing this my people doing this and the black guys go what are you talking about who's your people <laughs> what the f <laughs> do, do you even know who you are it was it was really good slayer though hollywood celebrities forgot that they are the privileged elite so they don't lose out either way well they lost their souls man they lost their souls and you lose your soul you're fucked right our people yeah our people oh my god <laughs> he's like what what do you mean our people <laughs> It's like Trudeau putting on blackface, going, our people, what, what the fuck, <laughs> our people, <laughs> you, it was funny, it was funny, good movie, man, I'm going to kick my rating up to this, I'm going to, I'm going to make it a 6.5, I give it a 6.5 out of 10, maybe I do, I initially gave it a 6.5, but I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10, so, celebrities preaching ethics is bizarre, very, very, right, very bizarre, and celebrities coming out of the blue to support some major political event, right? Like George Clooney in Sudan. You knew that was a CIA op, the whole thing. 
when they brought out George Clooney to promote all this shit, right? They live outside reality. I see. Here's the thing, Dancing Visual. I think a lot of these celebrities, when they're making it up, they'll do anything to get that role. They'll do anything to become famous and make money and whatever, right? And in that process, the their handlers tell them to get on their knees and suck deep, right, and swallow. And they get them to do a lot of nasty stuff, and they got that stuff on footage. So when their masters come calling, they're slaves, most of them, right? When their masters come calling, they better do, right? I, I think there's only very few of them that have, a, have the ability to stand on their own two feet, right? Elder God, uh, less Grossman uh, sacrificing his top star for a few bucks than dancing to his success uh, later on. Later on, Slayer Darth, I find liberals to be just as bigoted as those they condemn. Like they'll condemn someone for being racist to blacks, but they won't condemn their friend who has been racist to blacks in the past. They people are confused. People are confused. Purple philosophy on censor tube. Movie stars are slaves. 100%. 100%. Hollywood is one of the most vile places you ever want to be, man. You don't want to go there. You have any loved ones that want to go to Hollywood, become a Hollywood actor, Hollywood star, Hollywood director and stuff? Tell them to don't go that way, right? Work, make money, make your own independent movie. Stand on your own two feet, right? Slayer Darth. This is why I'm, I'm a moderate. I find it much easier to not engage in politics with most people. Sometimes, sometimes you got to stand on the right side of history, brother. Now they got casting couch of love. Yeah. Simple Simon was hilarious. Gang, good movie. What are your ratings? What are your ratings? What are your ratings? Purple philosophy. Ben Stiller and Sean Penn are uh, known about suits. What does that say? That heart gets in the way. Not about uh, to suit up and go fight Russia. They're not about. They're just. They suck so deep. Oh my God! And I loved how they changed the movie sequel from global warming to deep freeze. Nagushka, five point five for me. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Yeah, could have been better. Could have been better. And definitely could have been worse. Slayer Dark. This is also why I don't like most comedians being topical. It doesn't land very uh, well usually. Elder God gives a 6.66 .6 out of 10. <laughs> Dancing Vigil, 8 out of 10 just for Tom's ha hairy arms. Awesome, awesome. Tom Cruise is dancing at the end. Gives it goes from 6 to 6.5 for me. Nagushka, if the movie was solely Tom Cruise, then a 10 out of 10. I'm glad they gave him a fair bit, fair bit there. Ali on Sensor Tube says 9 out of 10. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious but just for not being woke kick it up to seven out of ten kick it up to seven out of ten right gang let's go to our last movie let's go to our last movie so we had one war movie light war movie we had three funny movies and then we got the banshees of any shirin whoa how many of you were able to watch the whole thing without your nervous system going into overdrive right elder god tom cruise was talking rap dancing lessons at the time was taking rap lessons really elder god chicho i'm giving you the finger <laughs> fucking hell this is the movie that I, I suggested and it won, right? Because I wanted to see it. Because these two actors, let me read their names. Colin Farrell and uh, this movie came out. The Banshee of Inshering, uh 2022. Directed by, by Martin Mc, McDonough. And he did, um, he did, he's done a few movies with these guys. One of them was uh, In Bruges, which is a fantastic movie. And this is Colin Farrell brendan gleason carrie condon all three of them i believe uh no carrie condon i believe is uk uh, another actor which was absolutely brilliant in this was barry uh 
Keegan. Okay, it was Barry Keegan. This movie, gang, holy wow, wow. Is it pre? No, no, it's not a prequel to In Bruges. It's not a prequel. This is set in 1923, the movie. Okay, by the way, gang, this is spoiler galore. You haven't seen this movie, and if you can handle a fucking heavy movie, like one of the heaviest movies you will ever watch in your life, okay, in your life, this is it, right? If you like those kinds of movies, do not listen anymore do not watch this anymore come back to this or whatever uh go watch this movie okay uh cheryl i ran out of time and didn't even get get to start it oh cheryl i saved it until last night because i knew this was the movie that i wanted to watch before uh we did the live stream uh cheryl oh no this movie is so complicated so complicated so brilliant so brilliant so brilliant cheryl uh, i plan on watching it tonight but don't mind spoilers this time cheryl stop watching okay i was on the road a ton this month cheryl get out i'm gonna kick you <laughs> i'm gonna ban you <laughs> starts april 1st 2023 starts uh the day before april 1st 2023 right january february march uh january february march april so starts march 30th was it uh, january february march march it starts on march 31st and kicks into april right ali i haven't seen this film but i it reminds me of oh the lighthouse with willem dafoe brilliant movie brilliant movie we we watched that as well we reviewed that as well uh <laughs> and that was phen phenomenal that was heavy dark deep this is disturbing that one was not as disturbing that one was shakespearean to a certain degree this was shakespearean as well but this was disturbing right <laughs> daryl shows says there you do it <laughs> The, the dancing visual that shopkeeper obsessed with gossip was vile vile every character even the shortest amount of time that were on screen with just the minimum amount of words they had portrayed their persona brilliantly right to me this movie is a 10 out of 10 it is a masterpiece it is an absolute masterpiece elder god no it starts april 1st it does start april 1st okay okay cheryl okay it if it's truly better for me to not have any spoilers i'll bail cheryl bail it, i i know if i wanted to watch this if i was going to watch this i wouldn't want to hear anything about this really anything about this elder god pat thinks it's a april fool's joke yeah yeah but i thought the day before because he crosses he, he pulls the a calendar and the reason i know this is because i was trying to figure out because it was by the way gang what was the civil war that was going on 1923 across the isles was that northern ireland ireland uh battle going on is, is that what was going on because that was going on. i was trying to figure out what what period this was supposed to be set in i realized there was no electricity really and then they brought out a calendar in 1923 cheryl okay friends i'm out have a wonderful week everyone and thanks for the heads up you're welcome cheryl and gang don't forget cheryl's taking off next sunday we're doing our yearly auction okay so yearly auction next sunday cheryl i hope you enjoyed the movie let us know what you think about it on uh, gilded okay uh, Pat, dancing visual the sister was the only intelligent one on the island she saw the light and got out there she saw the light and didn't lose her mind she got out before she lost her mind right all the god everyone on the island are people who are social misfits misfits unable to survive in mainland ireland cheryl i'll post my reaction on g tonight awesome ali thank you very much for the support uh on sensor tube sensor tube uh what do you call it uh, special chats i forget what this is called i love your reviews very knowledgeable on many subjects my pleasure ali i some some uh, some stuff some stuff and thank you very much sort of for the support blur uh brother thank you very much for the support um 
and get, if you don't want heavy man if you, you haven't watched this and if this is the type of movie you want ali uh, you you like if you like the lighthouse you will love this okay so you might not want to watch this brother uh, what, what we're talking about okay irish civil war yeah irish civil war okay okay so is that the one that separated northern ireland and ireland i don't have my time frame set on that elder god just before the treaty that separated the irish into two groups okay okay i know a lot about this period yeah i bet you do yeah yeah i figured you would it was in the far off distant and one of the most brilliant parts um was it Colin Farrell says, I wish you luck because he didn't know what side was what. He just said, I wish you luck in your in your war or something like this. I forget the exact quote. And then the cop saying he's going to go and watch an execution and he doesn't know if it's the Protestant killing the uh, Catholic or the Catholic about about to execute a Protestant. He was just going to be uh, he's just going to get paid to do this. Right. Floor, floor, sir, floor, sir, churd, floor, floor, sir, floor, sir, churd, uncensored. Good afternoon to you as well. Thank you very much for popping in. I can't pronounce your name. Uh, oh, it's super chats, Ali. It's called super chats on sensor tube. Thank you very much for the super chats. Uh, Elder God, the friendship is a metaphor of the future of Ireland. You think so? You took it to there. I didn't take it in that direction. I didn't take it in that direction. I took it to a level of people coming. There's so much going on. But one of the things was uh, a person being able to do the calculus to see his mor mortality, right? His lifespan and realizing that he wants to contribute something. contribute something period and do more in his life than just be right um, sort of looking for immort there's so much immortality maybe if you want to take it artistic expression if you want to take it one person saying that they you know people deciding of what is important in life what do you want to be is the most important thing in life to be a kind person to be a good person to be a wise person to be a well-read person to be a social person to be a creative person to be a person that provides a safe space for people to interact there is so much to it there's so much to it you could take every five minutes every 10 minutes every dialogue and just break it down right flowers child flowers child of course i couldn't believe i, I couldn't read how to, how to read it salutations flowers child welcome to our live stream on sensor tube uh, Lark Bart, I love watching stuff on the Irish Civil War. Yeah, Ireland has such a complicated history. So fucking deep, so dark. Oh, the God, the police officer is the British government in human form, abusing the Irish under his control. Yeah, I could, I made that connection. Uh, authority, authority abusing anyone, right? And then some of the people that suck up to that authority the vile as who said it the the shopkeeper the woman the vile uh sucking up to the authority right just if brilliant brilliant all of god colin colin woke up and realized that he had wasted his life and decided to attempt new things but his real motivation was to help his friend pat you think so oh oh maybe and he did in the end but there, there was definitely insanity there where right but he he cared he cared so much so much for him for his friend like one of the most powerful scenes when the the cop was beat up colin farrell and the cop comes up to um oh man i gotta get the names 
I, I should I should mention that. Okay, uh, column column Feral column. So the column character uh, is standing there watching the cop beat up on Pad, right? And the cop, when he's done beating him up, he walks by this character here, boop, right, and says, "See you later in the pub uh, for the beer you owe me." And this character over here looks at the cop and says, "I don't owe you a beer," right? fucking brilliant and he goes over and helps this guy up and there's a relate there's something going on there that he he's not allowed he, he's not allowed to talk to. puts him on his horse and carriage and rides him to the fork just the symbolism of that thing was fucking an unreal right rise up goes to the road and there's a fork going in different directions this guy crying this guy just going and like amazing that five minutes like literally that five minutes puts to shame 99 percent of the movies that are coming out out of hollywood any studio right now absolutely fucking brilliant right Elder God, we won't call it quits. We'll call it the start. In the bar, eh? Pats him on the face. Pow, pow. I think that's the scene you're talking about, right? So brilliant. So br after this movie, I, I told my partner last night we need to get a little mini mini donkey, mi mini mule, right? So brilliant. So brilliant, gang. If you can, like, I literally, it was so fucking heavy, this movie, so heavy, that halfway through, when I messaged Elder God, I came to this uh, Gilded, and I took a little break, and I didn't want to go back to the movie, even though I was loving it, it was intense, it, it was brilliant, one of the best movies I've ever seen, I didn't want to go back to the movie, because it was becoming insanely dark right uh, but i had to go to it because we had to do our homework and i'll mention this gang again i'll give you spoiler warning right first time chat rope maxing 3500 hello chicho long time listener first time chatter i finally cashed the live stream awesome work thank you very much brother or sister and thank you for popping into our live streams I'm going to give you guys a spoiler regarding this okay to the end i'm not going to say what happens in the end but i can i can tell you this okay turn it off if you want to see this with a the ending was absolutely made me fall in love with it even more the ending was perfect fucking perfect one of the most perfect endings to any movie I have ever seen in any genre it was perfect this movie is perfect okay perfect okay oh god the donkey and the kid uh dominique were a metaphor for the victims of the war to come oh donkey being the irish soul and the kid the loss of life and innocence the innocence the victimhood the uh, the the love aspect of it the kid was fucking magnificent that kid deserves so much respect what's his name barry uh kogan and gang you know i don't know if this is true or not but only the irish could have made this perfect the actors and all three male um actors were irish and uh carrie is uh bah, 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 bah. I think she was born uh, I think she's English uh, oh I looked this up before but I think she's English uh, so it was just brilliant just absolutely brilliant uh, I think the only male Irish actors could have really given that much to this right given that much to this dancing visual only time i laugh was during the confessional scenes <laughs> i i laugh more than once i laughed a few times 
but it was a dark laughter to a certain degree and it got darker and darker and the priest the portrayal of the priest especially knowing irish history with the catholic church fucking brilliant right absolutely brilliant where the guy turns to him and says do you have dreams uh uh desires such as this that you mentioned and the priest just fucking freaks and the relationship the close relationship of the priest and the pop and the cop right and that's implied right that's implied that's in the background you know it right the authority there right so deep so deep elder god there was some village colors color ads as well uh you see a lot of yellow in scenes for hope the hope and optimism oh i didn't pick up on that despair 2077 salutations good evening elder god and red for death and anxiety yeah 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 some of the buildings were yellow that's right the color on them right yeah 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 at some point i'll have to watch this again but not anytime soon not anytime soon not anytime soon for sure so heavy so heavy i woke up this morning thinking about it <laughs> elder god mentioned that he couldn't sleep after watching it it was brilliant i would love to see someone do a full-blown analysis of everything in this movie right elder god the priest was aggressive to call him as the church were against the ira and wouldn't take their confessions they wouldn't take their confessions fucking pieces of shit right i have no like i have no idea how the irish can still uh go to church the catholic church i really don't know like shanane o'connor when he, she tore up the picture of the pope and a lot of hate came her way from the from the irish and that was a time where all these revelations about the child abuse and stuff that the catholic church committed um, weren't known right or weren't revealed let's say it that way rope rope mix maxing colin farrell is a great actor i'm so happy that he finally take break from blockbuster movies and shows his talent and good taste of script 100 percent. i think he's one of the greatest actors of our time both of both of these guys two of the greatest actors of our time so lucky to to be seeing watching movies from them really and colin farrell wow man james dean james deanish like colin farrell brilliant brilliant and i'm glad he's lived longer than james dean okay uh what an actor colin farrell was amazing in batman rope and i'm kind of jealous of his thick hair haha <laughs> oh my god i had an irish girlfriend got a lot from her about catholics uh over uh friendliness yeah i bet i bet and she must have been a firecracker emotion Ooh, roller coaster ride elder god was it let's not forget daredevil one of the greatest villain portrayals ever bullseye right the rest of the movie sucked ass him made it worthwhile watching right yeah the old woman was deaf basically the old woman as soon as i saw her uh, reminded me of uh, what's that black and white movie uh where death is playing chess with um, the character really old movie 1930s movie uh what's that movie called oh man i've seen it it's brilliant um oh elder god hit us up what's that movie called um anybody else ali him and uh kaylian mc uh kaylian murphy uh and have you da, 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 seen open no i haven't seen oppenheimer yet i haven't seen Ott oppenheimer yet uh i plan on watching it hack and torp uh 
Ingmar Bergman directed it, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death? Is it called death? It's not called death. Ah, uh, Torp. Oh, no, nah, censor to Oh, God. When she's watching them at the end of the movie, I was saying that more death is coming. Yeah. And one of the most brilliant parts was Colin Farrell when he's walking up to his house, right? And the old woman says, don't kill his dog. And he says, don't put any. That's when you know he has become a, a, a man of, uh, of the times, right? His his intelligence level has gone up. He's he he's no longer uh, the seventh seal. Thank you very much, Dancing Vigil. The movie I was thinking about, Seventh Seal. Yeah, yeah, brilliant movie, right? Uh, but that's the that's the part where um, Colin Farrell, you know, that he's not uh, desperately trying to be the innocent, likable, nice person that his parents were. He turns to the old woman and says, shut up, woman. Don't put any thoughts in my mind that aren't there, right? He's aware of evil, right? He's now aware of evil. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Nicholas Simpson, Elder God, how many streams do you have open? <laughs> Elder God's everywhere. Yeah, the seventh seal. The seventh seal, 1957. I thought it was older than 1957. No, it's got to be older than that, isn't it? The poster or one part of the movie, huge chunk of the movie, is this old man playing. I think it's an old man. I saw it a long time ago. I seen it twice, but a long time ago. Uh, playing chess with death, right? Is it In Ingmar Bergman or is it a Russian movie? I don't know. I forget. Pad was so happy at the start. By the end, he is alone and bitter. Now, he is alone and wise to the world, I think. I, I wouldn't dark fucking times bill and ted all <laughs> the god says hilarious bill and Ted's excellent adventures was he bitter i think he was like for example when the young kid when they're drinking and colin farrell tells him the young kid that he lied to his students that his father was was dead and the young kid goes he's so innocent and just he's just he he was a dislikable person really dislikable just wouldn't shut up but most likely he had brain damage because his father was beating the shit out of him since most likely he was young but when colin farrell tells him when he's done that right and he turns to him he goes quiet and pulls away from him and goes that's that must that must be one of the worst things that i've heard anyone do like you're not a he turns to him and says you're not a kind person you're worse than them you're worse than them right his is colin farrell's delusion of who he was just shattered right showed how selfish he was right Elder God, I love the constant use of people looking in from the outside. It's a metaphor of him looking at a life he was losing. Dominique committed suicide. Dominique committed suicide, the young kid. He, there's no way he could, anyone of her caliber would ever love him. He knew, he was, he was desperately seeking for someone outside of this, this village right outside of this village and when she said when he asked her w could you ever love someone like me and she says she shook her head no that was it for him that was it so so much so much so brilliant so brilliant really love the movie really love the movie but fucking heavy man fucking heavy me gang what do you guys give it i give it 10 out of 10 easy easy 10 out of 10 easy 10 out of 10 right elder god he was doomed to drink in the pub till he died yeah and continue to be beat by his dad right continue to be beat by his dad made fun of by 
society, right? Dancing Vigil says 7 out of 10. Elder God, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, Elder God. I, I give it a 10 out of 10. Fucking dark. When something makes me feel this sad, like this heavy, I have no choice but to give it 10 out of 10. Only because I saw some historical inaccuracies. Ah, I bet I bet there would have been, right? But, but what was one of the historical inaccuracies? What would a historical inaccuracy be? I can't think of any right off the top of my head clothing oh clothing i don't know the clothing from that era it, it suited it for me language i could see language it the irish accent wasn't as harsh as it probably was back then right because i understood 98 percent of the conversation right so i could see that andy walker hey chicho on sensor tube i'm saying hi from my post operation room for having two hernia repairs ouch hope you're well oof andy walker in girl hernia on sensor tube in girl hernia i got a recommendation for you if it's in girl hernia or any operation um go once you're yeah get well soon ali says hey, hey, gang anybody if you ever get an operation okay once you're in the healing process once you know the the wound the opening is healed and stuff like this go see a massage therapist and get them umbilical or umbilical hernia, get them to um, break apart the scar tissue you want to get rid of the scar tissue so go see specialists to help you get rid of scar tissue okay that's my recommendation dancing visual fucking good movie though fucking good movie though right elder god the boat the sister got on ah okay but i love the scene when they paint the uh what were they painting what is that what's that symbol i don't know what were they painting they were painting oh the mailbox yeah 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 they were painting the mailbox green and she comes in the post box yeah and puts the envelope inside yeah 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 those that shop owner gross wow gross 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 walker thank you ali thank you for the advice chicho my pleasure and take your time make sure you don't injure yourself again right make sure you don't injure yourself again yang good movies we'll do again let's say within uh, criminal offense to open mail criminal offense to open mail indeed she opened it up my question was she kept on asking was it a job offer was it a job offer is it because she really didn't understand that it was a job offer or it wasn't a direct job offer right andy walker i'm here to try and get some rest with your relaxing tone also you caught us this is a heavy heavy move heavy movie we're talking about right dancing with thanks for the good laugh on a monday morning my pleasure my pleasure sunday afternoon where i am uh gang let's call it a stream let's call it a stream and we'll probably do a movie stream let's say in a couple of months uh so we're in uh, november december let's say january 2024 we'll do our stream again right oh god the people on the island were institutionalized it was it was like an insane asylum literally craziness the sanest person there was the barkeep right and uh, the sister and the sister 10 30 p.m for you your uk uk yeah uk or ireland or scotland or wales or uk i guess <laughs> gang let me take this poster down watch it if you haven't seen it if you can bear it gang thank you very much for being here i hope you enjoyed the stream thank you for the discussion discussions thank you for the recommendations thank you for the references 
right? Thank you for the references. They couldn't leave if they wanted to. Only the sister could leave wearing optimism yellow. Oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. I did not see that. I did not see that. <laughs> Walker is laughing at the clown on sensor too. Hilarious. Peace out. Peace out. Gang, if you want to follow this work, I'm on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. You can definitely follow the work there. We do have a gilded server. You're definitely welcome to join us in our community and share information. Elder God, for your information, her clothing color changed throughout the movie. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There was red she was wearing at some point. And she had to I gotta I gotta watch it again at some point. I can't bear to watch it right now, gang. Uh and gang, do not forget, do not forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, Julian Assange publishing journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity, something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online yo you and me hi yo arrived late at the end it seems yeah yeah indeed you yo you and me watch the village i gotta it's so much and so much about this movie gang we are live streaming on twitch on sensor tube and on rumble for those of you watching this live thank you very much thank you ali for the super chat on sensor two thank you guys for the discussion again thank you for being here we are recording this on a lapel mic and i will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform we're on Twitter, we're on Mines, we're on VK, we're on Gap, we're on Getter, we're on Substack Notes, and we'll see where else we end up. And gang, salute to the mods for being here, having our backs, and helping us build a beautiful little community we can share information and talk freely. Salute everyone. And don't forget, next week we're going to do our Twitch auction. Apologies if there's no points on Rumble and SensorTube. But on Twitch, if you build up your points there, we're going to be auctioning stuff up and sort of appreciation, yearly appreciation for everyone that's been uh, supporting this work and joined our community. Elder God, Pat has a yellow house with a red door. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fingers. And when the guy's playing violin, when he was doing the, the, when gone and he has his students in the bar and the blood just dripping crazy 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 good night chat it's 1 30 a.m for you rope up mixing you know i'm on substack slayer darth i'm on substack yeah indeed 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 oh god no pumps in bar as well uh they did exist though they did exist in 2023 uh, to, uh, uh 1923 I didn't know that glasses 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 the no fingers dance <laughs> 1923 yes oh wow didn't know that maybe it didn't exist on the island maybe it didn't exist on the island right gang i hope you have a fantastic week if you can make it 1890 actually came in pumps really super cool gotta have bubbly beer if you can make it next sunday gang twitch auction annual celebration hope you can make it bye everyone